Hey guys, <coughs> hey guys, what's up? Mike here. Um, so uh, if you hear a weird noise in the background, that's actually my fan. Uh, it's really high in my house. So the fan is on. Uh, so today, uh, today is Friday. It's Friday morning slash Thursday night slash Friday morning. It's in the wee hours in the morning. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of videos before I head to bed. Um, one of which is going to be the first one is going to be Amazing Spider-Man number 686 part 5 of Ends of the Earth as you can see I have the Gabriel Delato variant part 5 as you can see part 5 Mysterio it's actually really, of all the color covers um the Gabriel Delato variants um the Rhino the the Rhino one isn't out yet but the Chameleon the uh, Sandman the Doc Ock um, the Electro, Mysterio, the Sinister Six covers. I actually like this one, um, probably, this is probably one of my favorites, just because of the simplicity of it. Um, you know, Spider-Man's not actually on it, but you see, like, the anguish in his face and the pain he's under, um, sort of with these, um, you know, just through Mysterio's face, I like that. I like how he's not on it, but you can still, you know, you still know it's Spider-Man. So, Ends of the Earth, number five, almost at six, five. Um, this issue left, uh, takes off right, right where we left off. Um, issue four, or part four, um, Mysterio, uh, Doc Ock sort of nukes the world, or half the world, or where the, where the, our heroes are at, our heroes being Sable, Silver Sable, Spidey, and Black Widow. And Black Widow's co sort of cold blooded. She's like, you know what? You know, suck it up. She's useless. Um, her country was just destroyed, but we need to continue on with the mission. And Spidey decides they're gonna they're gonna try to save the world. Um, and he starts saving people. And Black Widow's trying to argue with him, telling him that it's not like they don't have time for that. They have to stop Doctor Octopus. Um, we then move on to um, Horizon Labs, or where they are in the ocean. They decide, and they're still having trouble tracking or trying to locate Doc Ock's um, um, satellites in space. And they decide and they decide that they actually figure out that they don't have to track the satellites per se. They can just track the signal that Doc Ock is sending up after, because he's constantly broadcasting, because he's a, you know an egomaniac. So we then see uh, go back to Simcaria, and we find out that it's not actually it's not actually on fire or exploded. It's actually um, Mysterio. He threw up an illusion, and um, that they're sending um, some. Um, they're sending, they, him and Chameleon are together in Simcaria, and they're about to, they're just f fucking with Spidey. So, Spidey actually realizes, like, this isn't, like, even with the sun, like, f f magnified, it, like, buildings won't catch on fire, the gas tanks won't explode. Um, so then there's an earthquake, and Doc Ock actually pops out the ground, and... Mysterio, you see Mysterio loving it, and it's not actually Doc Ock, it's um, Chameleon who's climbed into a Doc Ock suit and is playing the role. Uh, so you see, uh, uh, you go to the secret underwater location of the Sinister Six, and it's, um, see uh, Doc Ock and Rhino talking about how this, this wor the world, all over the world, or in certain parts of the world, uh, Spidey has heroes who joined his cause and fighting back. Um, and that Doc Ock broadcasts to the world that these people must be stopped, these heroes, or he's calling them terrorists. So, um, he goes talks to Mysterio, and he, w and he sees a video of Spidey and Chameleon fighting, and he's upset. This is his battle to fight, you know, um, that she's, you know, um, like while he's stuck in his underwater base, Chameleon's fighting his what's supposed to be his last battle and he doesn't want that ah, yeah, let me sit up uh, he doesn't want that to happen he wants to he wants to be the one to to I guess watch the life or choke the life out of Spider-Man and you know, that's his duel to the death because I guess that's his plan um so we see all these heroes just like fighting and um you see um um Sable blow plant a bomb on Doc or Chameleon and you know the suit's padded it's it doesn't really take damage and Spidey realizes that's not really uh, Octavius that's Chameleon um, but Doc Ock sort of hijacks a suit to use it to fight Spidey and he says um, he has a little surprise for it um, electromagnetic webbing that he created and it takes down Doc Ock 
or the suit, the fake Doc Ock chameleon. So they know it's chameleon now, and they sort of beat the crap out of him. And um, and Black Widow sort of um, blackmails chameleon because she knows what his face is and what he looks like, and that he's Russian and all this other stuff. Um, so they sort of blackmail him into. So basically. They blackmail him, and then Spidey sort of tricks Mysterio or convinces him to join up with him. That regardless of what happens, um, there there are two ways. Either one, they're right, Doc Ock saves the world, and he keeps his money, he wins. Or two, Doc Ock nukes the planet, and everyone dies, and Mysterio has no money. So regardless, so the the uh, the Sinister Six is down to I guess two. They took down three of them or four of them. And then you go, um, we move on to um, New York, and you see uh, MJ. She's actually bought, um, She, I think she's buying, like, a club. <laughs> um, yeah, she's buying a club to, to throw a party for a very good friend. This friend is Peter. Um, she's in New York. And then we see... Um, in Boston, we see Jonah's parent, father, and Aunt May, who are married now. They they moved to Boston, to trying to talk to the mayor. And he wanted to, to I guess Jonah's father is calling to tell Jonah that he loves him, regardless of what's happened between them. Jonah sort of just a dick, hangs up on him, and Aunt May sort of, um... Like, I'm amazed at trying to call Peter, you know, trying to contact him, you know, just in case the world does end. So you see uh, the uh, Sinister Sticks moot, um, the Spidey and his crew, The I guess they're the amazing, uh, Spider-Man and his amazing friends, there's three of them, plus Mysterio. They go to Guatemala and they head to this pyramid, and Doc Ock sort of detects them, and he, he shoots their, down their invisible plane. <laughs> Seems like Wonder Woman, and he um, he sends his new Sinister Six. Um, um, he second control the Avengers. Uh, yeah, his Sinister Avengers, I guess that he called them. Sinister Six, Sinister Six. Yeah, he um, calls them. Um, he calls his Avengers together, and they all have Octobox attached to them. So it's Red Hulk, Hawkeye, Thor, Iron Man, Cap, and Spider Woman. So it's these four against them, and Spidey really doesn't. You know, they're all fighting. It just turns into a big, like, brawl. And Spidey decides that he's going to take Cap out with an ice spider. But then he realizes what all this tech that he's been using. Um, you know, the ice pellet that Dr. Octopus used, armor that he's used, um, and his stealth satellites. They're all based on his technology, his cryo cube, his um, helmet, um, and his noise um, re reduction system. You know, all this was tech he used to help him be a better Spider-Man. But it sort of came and bite him in the ass, I guess. I guess Doc Ock tried to st sort of stole his shit and amplified it to, to the level that he uses it at. And, you know, Spider-Man realized that this is all his fault. And that's where the issue ends. Um, so, yeah, all in all, uh, as a part five, uh, I think it's a six-part series. It might be seven. I don't remember how long it was. Part five, um... Quite a change. It's a quite a change from um, Humberto Ramos's artwork, which is was on issue four and three and four, I believe. Um, or two and yeah, three and four. Um, this issue was actually really good. Um, Dan Slott's script, his story that he's been weaving, and this has been building up since you know he just started his run is is solid. There's, I mean, there's you you get nitpicky with some things, but um, as I said, this this issue is is great um, in terms of story writing, art. Um, as I said, I really like Stefano Castelli's art. It's a very different from Humberto Ramos. Humberto Ramos is very good at action scenes. Um, you know his art style, that zany, um, thin move. Like his art style is very fits well with the zany battle scenes. In terms of this, the art style. In terms of the battles, it's a little more static. It's a little more flat, in all honesty. But the artwork is—it just looks really good. Like each panel is so clean. It looks very crisp. It looks very good. Like in all honesty. So that's what makes up for the the battles not being as crazy and awesome as Humber Ramos's. Um, 
But the battle, the battle scenes, even then, even if they're very static, you know, it's like they're frozen in place. It does look very good. Um, you know, all the characters are very true, and you know, everything is very clean. Um, and I guess that has to do with the colors. Uh, Frank Martin Jr. does a great job of the colors. Um, but yeah, as all in all, this issue was solid. Solid issue. Um, great artwork, as I said. Great story. So it's gonna be getting a four out of five. Um, I have some issues with just some little nitpicky issues about characters. Um, I really like Sable Silver's uh, Sable. The fact that she's a major character in this. That's it's actually pretty weird that it's Spider Man plus two non superpower people. Black Widow has sorta of has superpowers, I guess. She she's super fit and stuff. She it's a long story. But um yeah, of all the heroes, um he, there's no one in the universe he can call. It's weird. Um I guess. But all in all, 4 out of 5. Not a bad issue. Great issue. You guys should check it out if you get a chance. If you already own it, let me know what you think. Um, thanks for watching. I think the other only other video I'm going to do tonight is my Omega Effect, maybe. Or maybe Winter Soldier. I haven't decided yet. But I'll figure it out. Thanks for watching, guys.